little Bachman Turner Overdrive on the XM radio here. <laughs> well, taking care of business. <laughs> That's what we gotta do today. You guys ready for this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Michael says he's ready for it. I'm ready. Jonathan's ready for it. I guess I'll be ready for it by the time we get out there. We got about an hour drive, but against this wind, it might make for a two hour drive. Post it till next. That's when you know you're going to kill something. You're eating donuts. Here. It gets bright enough that we can see. Got to have my orange on. Got to have my binos ready to go. Well, one of the things that you're going to see is just a function of the Wyoming landscape. These deer, you're hoping now that we're getting some snow, are going to migrate out towards this winter range. And their winter range is just a grid of oil and gas exploration roads. So you're gonna see a lot of driving, walking out, glassing, drive to the next knob, glass. Because it, <laughs> my truck's over here 200 yards and I walked out and I can glass this big drainage. Up on that ridge, there's another road. That ridge is a road, there's roads. So, <laughs> It's not a wilderness, high country experience, let's put it that way. But there's not very many tags, very, very few tags because they want to protect the deer on the winter range. And the winter range is more to the south and the mountains are up here. You can't see them in all this snow and cloud cover, but we're trying to get between where the deer are coming and where they want to go. One thing we do know in studies with bighorn sheep and other species is once animals lose their migration i'll call it instinct knowledge is probably the better word you can't supplement that population and expect them to relearn what's taken thousands and thousands of years for these animals to understand so once you lose migratory herds you pretty much lose them for good and this is one of the most treasured no, wildlife resources on our continent and I'm just thankful that Wyoming Game and Fish is working as hard as they are to to do what they're doing. I'm also thankful that I'm one of the very few people who lucked out and drew a tag. There are very very few tags for this that I'd been applying never drew and I was at the maximum point level and I drew this year. I think I there were one of us who drew out of 11 people at maximum points or something like that. Anyhow, the odds were really slim. Well, as far as I can see in this basin, there wasn't anything, so I'm gonna walk back to the truck, drive up to the next knob, keep doing that. Hopefully find some deer. No big secret where they migrate, everybody knows. So, all the other deer hunters, I'm sure, are going to be in the same corridor. Just who finds the buck they want to find, or the buck they want to shoot. I want to find every buck. Whether or not I want to shoot it, I don't know, but I want to find them all. I don't think those ones are going to grow antlers in time. got two does in front of him here. One has a collar. There's a buck down here just a 
heavy, but probably 20, 22 inch, three point tall. Uh, no, we've probably seen now 25 deer already this morning and just that one buck, but the snow is coming and then the snow is going to clear off and then it's supposed to get just miserable cold like below zero 10 below zero and i don't know if that'll bring the deer through here but uh kind of cool to watch them really a nice buck they're heavy about 23 inches wide 24 maybe just <clears throat> Four on one side, three on the other. I like how heavy these deer are, man. These are some big old boys. I'm gonna look over here. So far we've seen two bucks today. One pretty darn good on the but still wasn't gonna shoot him. Keep looking, keep looking. They say the wind or the snow is gonna stop here in another couple hours and then it's gonna clear off and just get cold and windy. <laughs> for the squatch. I guess while the visibility's bad, I'll just keep learning more roads and learning more roads so that when it clears, I know where every road goes to, where all the good lookouts and classic points are. Nothing else you can really do right now. Miserable. But I'm hunting. Everyone else is working. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, folks. I just had to rub that in a little bit. But at least I'm not a deer out in the out in the actual thick of it. I'll be able to take refuge in a vehicle if I need to. All right. going to be just a surge of migrating mule deer that comes through here. It's going to look like a herd of bison. You're just going to be kind of jumping to get out of the way. I have to shoot one in self-defense. <sighs> There's going to be a big one in one of these drainages sooner or later. I don't know which one. It's probably going to wait until I'm le the least prepared and then Poof, he's gonna stand up and he's just gonna trot off and I'm not gonna be ready. Well, the snow was supposed to quit at three o'clock, which was about an hour and a half ago. It's just getting worse. Oh well. Go to the next spot. Glass in a buck here, four by four, about mm, 24 inches wide. Not that heavy though, it looks like a younger buck. He's got six does of them. Hard to tell in the snow, it's just... I mean, you can tell he's not one we're gonna shoot. <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> Too bad he isn't about 28 inches and heavy. He's not that heavy. You can tell he's a younger buck. Michael said tomorrow's the day. What what was your what did you call Jonathan? I didn't have one. You didn't I have think one? It's tomorrow. Michael said tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. Oof. Michael and Jonathan are both saying it's tomorrow. 
guess we'll see. Well, folks, day one of hunting is a wrap. We're heading in. We're going to go get warm, get something to eat, get some gas in the truck. I'll be right back here tomorrow for day two of hunting. And more deer. Big hang. Great big hang. About, yeah, about like that. Thanks for watching.